guys, in this video I'm going to talk all about Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas connecting balcony ocean view rooms. So I'm really excited because we just got off our uh, cruise and I want to talk all about this because we have four littles under the age of eight and uh, my husband and I went on this cruise with our family of six and we're going to share all about what went well with the connecting room so that you guys can make the decision yourself and at the end of this I'm going to share with you uh, the comparison between Disney's what they call a stateroom that is a connecting stateroom with a balcony so that you guys can have comparison between both of these really popular cruise lines for families. Um, so stay tuned if you want to hear all about the connecting staterooms. So we booked uh, Symphony of the Seas room 10586 and 10588 uh, because they were connecting rooms. I have four kids, again, under the age of eight, and this is us walking through the hallway at one o'clock. We got on the ship at 10.30ish and all of our bags right there just arrived um, and then we were missing one bag until about 3 p.m. and then it was delivered and they were all sent at the same time so I don't know what happened. We did use a porter and tipped him about $15, $20 I would say for about six or seven bags. Um, it made it really easy for us to just you know give it to them. They took care of it and then we went on our way instead of trying to lug it through uh, the hallways and stuff. So anyway, um, when you get to your connecting room, you'll get um, this envelope. Um, I think all the rooms have them and they will have your keys in there. And so we got both keys. The way that it was set up, um, I completely forgot that one room was two person occupancy. The other room was four uh, occupancy and I had the room switched. So I had unpacked all my stuff in the wrong space. So don't do that. Uh, room 10586 was the one um, that actually had a uh, occupancy of four, okay? So just FYI, um, if you have a connecting room, just make sure you know which one has a what occupancy. As you can see on the bed, you see that split there? That was super annoying. As compared to the Disney Cruise Line uh, Dream, their beds were so comfortable. These beds like split in the middle of the night. Um, we weren't doing anything too wild, um, but like the rooms, I mean the bed split was not comfortable. I heard that you could get foam mattresses, um, whatever. We didn't do that. This is the bathroom. The bathroom, unlike Disney, um, they have like the three in one like shampoo. Uh, the um, the shower space was pretty small. I felt really confined. Um, I'm a buck 50-ish and um, I felt that it was kind of small and my husband's about 200 pounds and he felt that it was small as well. The Disney Cruise Line one has a tub which again you're paying two and a half times more for. This is a setup for all the kids so you can see that um, that area had a pull out area for kids to sleep in. Okay, now you have a view of the door, the connecting door. It's one single door, and my husband's shoe is what's holding it open. There's nothing to hold it open, and they didn't even have a door stop. So just FYI, if you're getting connecting room. This is the balcony area. We used it to dry <laughs> our clothes a lot. Uh, as you can see there, um, they opened up the balcony for us. We had to wait about until 4 or 5 o'clock in order for her to do that. Um, our uh, stateroom attendant was amazing. Um, so she was able to open that up for us. Uh, but she had to call like a main attendant in order to do that. But it took a longer while. Um, but we got it done. And so you can see how um, that is folded in. If you're a mama bear like me, um, here's my two-year-old so you can see how tall the balcony actually is. We got these little shoe things as well as these hooks um, off of Amazon before our trip and it was able to hold a lot of our random stuff. So this is like the little metal hooks. I would recommend doing getting these instead of the cheap like screw-in ones um, because they're heavy duty. I would get ones that are rated for five to eight pounds um, because they proved to be really, really handy for jackets and like hooks for our lanyards make sure you get lanyards with like little plastic holders those proved out to be really really awesome as well so now that i've kind of showed you the space on royal caribbean let me talk about disney cruise lines um connecting rooms and they actually call the rooms um state rooms and they those state rooms also have balconies which they call verandas and so uh what i found that was different uh on royal caribbean's was that the beds were less comfortable on the Royal Caribbeans. I love the Disney beds so much so that I actually looked up what mattress that they used when I came back home. I'm pretty sure it was a Sealy mattress. Um, secondly, the space on Disney, you're paying for what you get, but the space in the bathroom is a little bit larger and they have tubs. I felt really confined in Royal Caribbean's um, bathrooms. And then also, um, I know that with Disney, uh, especially the dream they had like a Murphy bed that kind of pulled up from the top instead Royal Caribbean's um, as you saw 
actually pulled out from underneath the sofa and those beds are really uncomfortable it's like sleeping on a really hard uh, sofa bed so anyway um, but you're paying two and a half times more on a Disney cruise typically uh, for those luxury amenities um, I know the pull-out sofa my kids really didn't care but I when I laid on it it was really really uncomfortable so um, also on uh, if we're talking about the Disney uh, cruise experience I know that the beds um, that my husband and I slept on um, on Royal like split even in the middle of the night so it was kind of annoying um, I just remember my stay on the Disney dream uh, bed was way more comfortable in terms of like the space on uh, the balcony or veranda whatever you want to call it um, it was the same I feel like it was the same space and also um, the biggest difference that I saw was the door um, as I mentioned the door on the Royal Caribbean didn't have like any way to connect or reopen it like keep it open the doors on the Royal Caribbean um, for the interconnecting rooms they didn't have a stop to them so all they did was unlock it and then it was able to go out in and out and what was bad about that was that I was concerned that my littles would get their fingers kind of caught in between and so what we did was we stuck like one of my husband's shoe to kind of make it a door stop I know that's really bad but um, used that so that it would prop and keep that space open because with four littles under the age of eight um, I'm really concerned about being able to like hear and see them uh, especially in such a small space I didn't feel comfortable closing that door um, but with Disney uh, their doors actually there were two doors instead of one big door and those two doors allowed you to like prop them open and allow kids to run back and forth without having that door like in your way because that Royal Caribbean door um, it like took up some space like the the space between like the um, the bed and the part where you're supposed to walk in front of the bed and so that was kind of annoying um, but other than that I mean if I had to sit with that problem versus paying two and a half times more with all the other things being kind of similar I would definitely uh, choose having a door that's propped open with a shoe so anyway, that's my review on um, the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas uh, connecting rooms. I actually loved our stay, even though the beds were kind of uncomfortable um, because of all of the amenities that this ship had. Um, if you guys have any questions at all on the connecting rooms, please let me know. I'll make sure that I link a blog post down below so you guys can see pictures and images that maybe the video didn't show so that you guys can have an idea of what to expect on Symphony of the Seas. And if you guys love this video, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you can get notifications whenever I create a new video on family vacations here in the States as well as globally. All right, bye guys.